Hey everyone, Sebastian here and welcome to Atmoseeker, your place for creating an inspiring atmosphere for your tabletop role-playing games. You can see I've got a bit of terrain here set up on the table because we're going to try some new lighting effects around them. These are the canvas tiles from Nanoleaf. Uh, they're a little bit pricier, but I'm hoping they're going to offer a little bit of interactivity, some bright lighting effects, some animated effects, and hoping to integrate some Stream Deck type uh, interactivity with them as well. Uh, if I turn down the lights, you can see they make a nice little underglow type of effect. So hoping to kind of place it in and around some of this terrain. Now I can already hear from the comments that people are going to be screaming out about the uh, Dwarven Forge lighting panels that you can get. Interesting that the pricing is kind of similar on these kind of LED panels, even though these ones offer a little bit more in terms of interactivity and that kind of thing. But it really kind of depends on what your setup is. This is going to be kind of more of an experiment here to try and work out how to kind of piece it into this terrain. So we're going to try deconstruct some of this a little bit more and see what kind of effects we can get and if we can partner it with a few lighting effects kind of modifiers uh, like some fog and stuff to kind of add some bodies to some of the uh, effect as well. So what I've got here is some cavern type pieces uh, that I've just kind of made from a lot of kind of polystyrene type techniques. Some of this stuff off for the moment and we're gonna try and piece together a nice little larvary type rock kind of scene. So the thing I like about these panels is they're quite bright and I love that you can put them into a variety of different configurations as well. So right now I've kind of used my phone to kind of set this into these animated effects. They have a whole kind of bunch of presets as well, like larvary, acidy, kind of ice kind of thing. They have a whole store kind of list that you can kind of scroll through and find some anime effects um, depending on what you're looking for. So now that we've got one of these panels here, it, in the starter set, it comes with a pack of uh, nine of these panels. And they're kind of linked together with a bunch of these little USB connectors. And on the back of them, you can just see that they've got a whole bunch of connecting points. And so you can kind of piece them together to make whatever kind of configuration you're after. Like this is almost enough here. I don't even need to f use the full nine panels. Just put that aside for now. We'll just add some of our rocks to this space. And you can see it's already making that underglow type lighting effect, which can be quite dramatic. So as you can see, just by putting those panels around, uh, we've got some nice bright underglow type lighting effect with a lot of that animated effect as well happening. So you see, even with some room lighting, that effect still kind of comes together. So I'm going to add a little bit of a fog effect here just to see how it kind of picks up some of that lighting effect. Obviously, it's extremely optional, but I actually add, think it adds a lot to atmospherics, especially with these kind of locations. So let's have a look. don't really need to add too much. Um, if you want to see how to make this kind of fog effect, there uh, is a video on the channel that shows how to make your own fog chiller from just a cheap fog machine. So I'm liking that it's the, 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 the thin profile of the panel makes it a little easier to kind of slot underneath terrain, even kind of move around uh, and kind of sit next to a lot of existing dungeon tiles or little kind of cave-like dioramas. If you like the look of these ice cavern dioramas, there is a video on the channel that show you how to make them. They're kind of like these modular little uh, set pieces that you can place around. Uh, so now I've only used, I think only four, four of the, the nano leaf uh, canvas tiles and I've set it to like a blue glow here just to create that nice underlighting kind of ice effect. We've got the uh, studio lights here around the table just kind of set to a brightness of about 50%, just so you can see that glow a bit better. Now let's just add a little bit of fog just to see how that is. Uh, <laughs> there's like a million buttons here. Just trying, all right, it's just, it's the physical remote here. Oh, and it's run out of, it's gone cold. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I just use my own fog effect in here. Oh, it's freezing cold in here. Uh, yeah, just gonna have to wait for that one. 
to why am I? Uh, while I'm waiting for the fog machine to kind of heat up a little bit, uh, I was doing a little bit of comparison with the uh, Dwarven Forge uh, light up tiles that you can. And there's nothing wrong with using those ones. They can work for, especially for if you're going specifically for the Dwarven Forge tiles. Um, but I noticed that a couple of the comparisons were that they both connect via a uh, power cable as well. So it's not a completely wireless effect. Um, and they both have interlocking power uh, as well. So it means when you kind of chain them together, when you can plug one into the next one to create this continuing power across all of the panels. The closest comparison that I found price-wise was that there was a pack of five of the um, Dwarven Forge 8x8 inch tiles that was about, I'm doing this all in Australian dollars, so uh, apologies to everyone that's overseas in America and Europe. Uh, so it was $286 plus 64 shipping. So a total of $350 for, which would give you about a 16 inch square board of uh, light. And in comparison to the nano leaf tiles that I've got here, uh, it's a pack of nine in the starter set. And each tile is about six by six with free shipping from Amazon, which is usually next day shipping. Uh, and that was about 349 for an 18 inch square board. So same, same price wise, uh, but uh, you do get a few more things with some of the animated effects and you can do some kind of fun things like stream deck integration as well. Let's put a bit of fog on this board. I see it's kind of warmed up now and let's see how it looks with this kind of old cold ice effect here. And you can see here, and even though we've, even we've got some little kind of translucent ice effects that really kind of pick up some of the lighting from underneath uh, to help create that kind of really nice, eerily kind of icy cold kind of environment to it, which is quite nice. So yeah, with the fog, really makes that kind of environment pop a lot more as well. Uh, let's switch this out to a different board uh, now for a more of a kind of dungeon type of effect. All right, so we've got a little bit more of a dungeon environment here. So you can see just with like a little bit of fog, that little underglow lighting of this slime kind of moving through um, and using some of the simple animated effects that you can do with the app. You don't even have to program or animate them yourself. They've got a large library of all these types of effects that you can find. Now you see I've got this spirity ghost uh, like creature. Now if she was kind of like bound to these slime like areas, uh, we could possibly uh, animate some of the uh, tiles here and trigger them off the stream deck itself. So say there was an instance where this ghost had to kind of move around and you wanted these zones to kind of light up where it was creating this glow effect where this ghost was appearing. You can do some automation in the Stream Deck. I did originally want to have it so that when you can touch, because these panels are also interactive. Uh, so if you touch them, you could light them up. Still haven't worked that one out. But the simplest way I found to do it was to create these kind of lighting scenes in the, uh, in the phone here, and then program those into the Stream Deck and see if you can toggle each of these individual scenes. So you could control individual tiles, like it was kind of giving some more ghostly presence to this specter that's going through the dungeon and then change the glowing tile to another position. So my final thoughts on this uh, Nano Leaf Canvas LED tiles are that they are a little bit pricey, but you can get some nice interactive light up effects for some particular types of encounters and types of situations. The interactivity with the Stream Deck does make it a really nice addition, especially if you want to turn individual tiles off and on. Obviously, there's a little bit more learning there to try and get some of the uh, interactive touch type stuff working uh, to more of a level that I like to. But if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this new type of format of videos we're trying out here, uh, this is kind of similar what type setup that we'll have 
on the live streams that happen every now and then in our After Dark live stream series where I mostly do this kind of stuff or painting miniatures or terrain. Um, so feel free to subscribe or hit that bell icon if you don't want to miss out when those go live as well. A uh, special shout out and thank you to our amazing supporters on Patreon, including Luke Mansberger, Chris Andrus, Charisma on Command, and John A. Johnson. Thanks so much for your amazing support. And uh, until next time, I'm Sebastian, and let's create and inspire. See you then.